Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to PCTM, to your pop culture time machine, the show about 80s, 90s, and a little bit of 2000s pop culture. In the long history of martial arts movies, there are a few movies that can actually claim to be iconic movies. I'm talking about Bruce Lee classics like Fist of Fury or Enter the Dragon. But of course, there are also some American classics. And one of them is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm talking about Bloodsport. Yes, the John Clough and Damn classic. Very good. But brick, not hit back. So in this video, we're going to take a closer look on a movie that made John Clough and them an international superstar. All right, let's roll. For centuries, the Society of the Black Dragon has sanctioned an ancient rite of combat known as the Kumite. Open only to the world's most lethal warriors. It has never been won by a Westerner. You are not Japanese. I can do it. Now, for the first time, the true story of America's <laughs> super agent, Frank Dukes, can be revealed. Uncle Sam can't afford to let you get hurt. I'm going to Hong Kong. Frank is going to fight in the Kumite, and we're here to stop him. An awesome human weapon. That hurts me just looking at it infiltrates the Chinese underworld. I did not come this far to stop now. Take him. To enter a forbidden competition. Couldn't you just get me in? Strict rules, no press. You telling me you never break rules? Where every fighting style, every worthy opponent, every deadly technique, I... clash in savage combat. Time to separate the men from the boys. And only one will triumph. Now I will break you. I International martial arts sensation Jean-Claude Van Damme in Bloodsport. The true story of the ultimate champion. So let's talk about the plot first. John Claude Van Damme plays Frank Dukes, who's not only a special agent, but also a world-class martial artist. Dukes wants to participate in the Kumite, a legendary fighting tournament, which is held every five years in Hong Kong. But there's a deeper reason why Frank Dukes wants to fight in the tournament. He wants to honor his sudushi named Tanaka, whose son died in the last Kumite. In the beginning of the movie, you see flashbacks in which Frank has to convince his master that he can become the first non-Asian to win it all. After many months of preparation, Dukes finally makes his way to Hong Kong to take the challenge. There is a lot to talk about Bloodsport. As I already mentioned earlier, this movie made John claude Van Damme known as an up-and-coming superstar. But of course, this wasn't his first role. My favorite John claude Van Damme role prior to Bloodsport was the dance movie classic Breaking, where John claude is pulling up some crazy dance moves. I know you want to see it, so here we go. Hey, what's going on over there? Hey, is that Jean-Claude Van Damme? Oh my god, yes, wow, what great moves! Oh yeah, this is like really cool! Okay, could I please have some more of that offbeat dancing? Like fighting against the rhythm? Oh yeah, there it is! Oh, great, awesome! Can you believe it that Jean-Claude Van Damme actually started his movie career like this? It just proves everybody gotta pay his dues. I know your hardcore fans appreciate details, so let's take a closer look to this scene. The guy standing next to John claude is not only one of his best friends, but also his personal trainer. And he also has a major role in Bloodsport. He's playing Paredes, the guy who's getting his knee smashed by Chong Lee. And he's also playing Tom Po in Kickboxer. So many things about this guy. His name is Michel Cuisy and I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right, but he's also seen in one of the few rare interviews that John claude Van Damme did to promote Bloodsport. This one here is I'm legendary. Julie Moran from Movie Time. I'm here for the interview. Hi, Julie. I'm just training right now, but uh, you know what? Let's train together. Follow me. Come on, come on. Uh... So, John claude how long are we going to keep this up? About 30 minutes and then some sparring. Fine. No problem. Mr. 
Needless to say, I was beginning to have second thoughts about sparring. Good training. Thanks, I love my friend. I get you. Am I going to die for cable TV? Come on, Julian. Come on, it's spark. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I'm just curious. Uh, can you break uh, boards with your hand? Yeah. Um, can you break bricks with your head? Sure. Oh, um, can you do this? This? That's good, yeah. Can you do this? Wait, wait, yeah. this. Like that. Yeah, that's yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah. That's very good. Hold it. Just hold yeah. it right. Yeah. Oh! 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> with Jean-Claude Van Damme, I'm Julie Moran from Movie Time. She should go in the comité. Bloodsport was Van Damme's first big major role, even though the movie No Retreat, No Surrender from the year 1986 was the first movie that got Van Damme's name out there. In that movie, he plays the mean Russian Ivan Krasinski and shows us a great taste of his martial arts skills. <laughs> Wow, did you just see that? So in case one of your friends ever gets into trouble, all you gotta do is call his name, say the words, no retreat, no surrender, and everything will be taken care of. All right, so let's talk some facts. Bloodsport was shot in 1987, and even though it was shot mainly in Hong Kong, it's still considered to be an American martial arts movie. It was directed by Newt Arnold. The main stars of the movies were Jean-Claude Van Damme, Donald Gibb, Leah Iris, and of course, Bolo Young, the great Bolo Young known for many Bruce Lee movies. The story is partly based on the unverified claims made by martial artist Frank Dukes. And this is really interesting. If you want to see the whole story behind Frank Dukes' claim, you got to check out the documentary, Put Up Your Dukes. I can really recommend it. The movie was produced by a B-movie company called Canon, but I gotta be honest, I love that company. They produce movies like Superman 4, Masters of the Universe, and some other really weird classics. The movie had a budget of $1.5 million and grossing $65 million, so being a big time success. Also pretty interesting, the first cut of the movie was so bad that the production company cannot even consider canceling the entire movie. But Jean-Claude Van Damme asked to recut the movie and he did it and the rest is history. If you are a die-hard martial arts movie fan, then you know that Bloodsport had a couple of sequels. And they weren't too good. Actually, they were quite awful. The second one was alright, but the third and the fourth were terrible. But hey, you might want to check out the trailer. Have you ever heard about a championship called a kumite? It's like the Super Bowl of martial arts. The winner is the ultimate warrior. I am that champion. Oh, cool. Tell me about it. You won the last kumite in Bangkok. I'm sponsoring a new kumite. Inviting the finest, most lethal fighters from around the world. You, sir, are the very best. I'll go to any lengths to procure a fine fighter. I will not fight for you or anyone else. Maybe we should make you understand. Totally awesome! Uh, totally awesome. No, it isn't. Anyway, if you want to see a good martial arts movie, Bloodsport 1 is definitely a good choice. Good fights, good music, good storyboard, good action, everything you can ask for for a 1980s cult classic. Got nothing to watch for tonight? What are you waiting for?